it used to be that for an artist or photographer wanting to work on a landscape in Yolo County, California, the options on where you could go were fairly limited. In 2006, Yolo Arts set about to address this need. Partnering with farmer Annie Main, they launched the Art and Ag Project, getting farmers to open up their lands to artists. Lots of different places to go. If you go down this road here, they're, they've just uh, newly plowed a whole field. Through the farm visits, the artists are given the opportunity to paint on lands that otherwise they would not have access to. So that's a wonderful thing for the artists. And for the farmers, uh, they can really see how much their farm is appreciated uh, by the artists, by the community. I love looking at this beautiful landscape that we have here. And you know something, it's really great to be able to have access that you normally don't get when you're just hanging out along a fence line, along a country road. The Art Nag Project is run by Yellow Arts, and its mission is to benefit artists and farmers while raising community awareness of the importance of preserving county farmland. Each month, artists are invited to experience a new agricultural landscape. Artists love to come to the farm. It's, it's really the only accessibility they have to farms other than standing at the road's edge. So farmers invite them into their farms, which these are private properties. And now the artists get to really explore the space from the inside, get those unique perspectives that you can only get from the inside of the farm versus the very edge of the road, and the artists absolutely love that. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, I'm having a wonderful time. I'm having a wonderful time. I'm, you know, you know how it is when you paint, you kind of get in the movement, you know, mixing your colors, and we have looking, and then you. every once in a while I've got to grab the, grab the hat. It's, it's kind of... Uh, an interesting interruption in my rhythm, but I'm still having a good time. <laughs> I looked first for a good composition, and this, today I wanted a, like an L-shaped composition, so I was looking for a tree that would be standing up more or less on the one side. Look of to the, your the left and, and film right here. If that isn't exciting. That is pretty exciting, but I'm, <laughs> that, I'm not doing it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but that would make a terrific photograph. When you get artists out here, they change stand. your perspective. Some of these and artworks that I've seen that come off of my farm, I've driven by these places a thousand times and never noticed what this artist has seen. So it's changed my perspective of how I look at the farm. Things like a crooked fence that drives me crazy. An artist might capture the crooked fence. A, a bunch of grapes in the sunlight, a, a sunflower head. People see things differently than I see it every day. And, and so it changes my perspective Thank and how I coming. appreciate my farm. This is Thank so you. fun. Isn't Thank this wonderful? Doing this. Don't you love being here? Yes. To introduce yourselves and tell me what your medium is. What, what's your medium? Well, my job is to schedule the monthly farm visits. I notify the different farms. I, I work with Annie Main, who is a farmer, so she has a lot of connections. Um, I also work with the Yolo Land Trust because two of the farms that we visit a year, they're under easements, which means that they're preserved forever. Uh, so we make sure that we visit a variety of farms as well, from small organic farms all the way up to large agribusiness. Dennis and I meet and we get these ideas at the beginning of the year of where to go and I say there's this place on the end of the road I really want to find and she goes, okay, you go look. We're headed toward the banks of Cache Creek. Cache Creek is part of the watershed in California that comes clear down from Clear Lake. As a farmer um, with um, a little bit of art in my background, I think that it's important that people see the connection between agriculture and art. There's beauty in nature. There's, there's beauty in artists displaying what farmers work so hard to create. In the fall of each year, Yolo Arts holds Art Farm, an art and food harvest where the community comes to celebrate the Artist Farmer Alliance. Paintings and photos created from farm visits are auctioned to help celebrate the Art Nag project and land preservation. Our mission is to 
permanently conserve farmland in Yolo County. And as part of that mission, we're working with farmers who want to uh, enter agreements with us to permanently conserve it. We also want to get the word out to the general public about the importance of farmland in Yolo County. And the Art and Ag Project is a great opportunity for folks who might not otherwise have an opportunity to see farmland, to see it through the eyes of an artist, and hopefully gain an appreciation and a love for the farmland that we have here in Yolo County. After many harvests, accolades for the Art and Ag Project are bountiful. The National Endowment for the Arts has recognized a program as a model to emulate. American Heartland, a PBS program, is featuring it, while grants both regional and national are helping the program grow. Images and art really resonate with consumers and they can really see it. Most people are visual. Their Art in the Egg program really connects those two things together. It's the picture, it's the farming families, it's the produce, it's the food that we eat all surrounding the artwork. And it really helps connect consumers to artists and farmers and to those, those farm products that we all love to eat. This land will grow just about anything you want and we have the climate and we do have a good underground source of water. We've been here since uh, 1901, 1902, right around there it was founded. It's been a working farm since then. Since I've been in this business, and it's been quite a few years now, everyone complains that no one understands agriculture. And people understand things like dust and noise and smells, but they don't understand that there's a whole other part of this with the beauty and the, and the, the, the great food that comes off of these farms. So how can I educate people? I think the best way is to allow them on my farm. You know, we talk about nature all the time, but farmland itself is also very beautiful. And people don't realize that. Except us. <laughs> you know, people see paintings that, that we've done and just say, oh my God, you know, this is where I live. This is really beautiful. If you'd like to be part of the Art Nag project, please visit www.yoloarts.org and stay connected. Join the Yolo Arts Artist Directory.